Hello, and welcome back to another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. Ever since Charles Darwin took a long, hard look at his mother-in-law and thought, oh God, are my kids going to turn out like that? We've been fascinated by the changes between each generation of humans and everything else. As far as science goes, the theory of evolution is about as solid an idea as you're likely to come across, since it's been examined and improved on for over a hundred years. And despite what the critics say, there is a mountain of evidence to support it that goes far beyond a few bones and that drawing of monkey, caveman, hairy guy, modern man. So today, we're looking at the top 10 things that prove evolution. The daily top 10s are constantly evolving. Just last week, we grew a tail and an extra thumb. We don't need them, but it's pretty cool. If you want to watch us become a whole new species, just click subscribe for updates. Number 10, the fossil record. Okay, let's get the bones out of the way first. When it comes to human evolution, for many years the anti-Darwin crowd pointed to a lack of skeletons that showed our species transition. Where was this so-called missing link? In 1912, a man called Charles Darwin claimed to have found the answer. It was named the Piltdown Man, and it took a full 40 years to prove that it was fake. It was really just made up of a medieval human skull, a 500-year-old orangutan jaw, and some fossilized chimp teeth, which by a strange coincidence is also David Attenborough's Amazon wish list. In reality, there's no such thing as a missing link because evolution is not a simple chain of one species after another. It's more like a chaotic spider web with big gaps where species just disappear. But for humans and many other forms of life, we do have plenty of fossil records that show changes over large spans of time, leading from one species to another. Number 9. Genetic Code when we zoom past the bones down to the very code that makes up each organism, we realize that the vast majority of this can be read by all cells. DNA is a universal genetic code, and it seems almost impossible that all life works in such a similar way if we didn't all start out from the same place. It's like being able to take Tetris for the Game Boy and sticking it into the back of your PS4 without any issue, you'd have to assume that the system shared a similar history. When it comes to shared genes, you're 92% the same as a mouse, and even share 25% with common garden weeds. Not everyone, though. That's just you specifically, you cheese-loving lawn destroyer. Number 8. Galapagos Charles Darwin got the spark of his idea when he sailed with the HMS Beagle and stopped at the Galapagos Islands. The thing that's so unique about them is each island has many similar species, but each island has its own unique version of that species, which is perfectly adapted to their unique environment. He noticed this especially in the beaks of the many finches, seeing how the shapes of their beak help them to feed on different food sources. Number 7. Arm tendons, coccyx, ear wiggling. As a species evolves, it gains new traits that help it to be successful in its environment. This means that you'll also lose things that are holding you back, and sometimes just things that you no longer need. Most of your body is pretty useful your 3D vision, your liver, your opposable thumb, for example, but you also have parts that are a hangover from a long time back that don't help you anymore, but they don't hinder you either, so they've just stuck about, like that final guest at a house party. Your coccyx, at the base of your spine, is a little lump where a tail used to be attached, and if you can wiggle your ears, well, that's because many mammals move their ears independently to look for the source of a sound. We don't do that, but the little wiggle is still there. Number 6. Convergent Evolution Evolution is all about life adapting to its surroundings by a series of random mutations. 
the mutations that help stick around, and the ones that don't, well, don't. So if there's a similar problem that two species need to solve, you'd expect them to have some similar characteristics, even if the rest of their environment is very different. And this does happen. We can see it throughout our nature. It's called convergent evolution. Just look at a dolphin and a shark. Their history is miles apart. They are two completely different classes of creature. Humans are far closer to dolphins than sharks are. But they share much of the same body shape since they both need to be fast and maneuverable swimmers. Number 5. Breeding Although breeding is controlled and evolution is natural, seeing how we've changed the dog species in such a short period of time gives a good indication of the impact evolution can have. Some breeds, like pugs, would have no chance in the wild. Did you know that a lot of pugs have glass eyes? Because their real eyes can pop out when they sneeze. But when you look at a pug, a poodle, and an Alsatian, you'll realize what weird offsprings you can create from one species, depending on who mates with who. I guess you can see this too in humans when you watch My Super Sweet 16. Number 4. Resistance to Antibiotics One example of evolution in mankind's recent history is actually a huge problem for us. One we might not have the answer for. Antibiotics have been used unknowingly for thousands of years, but it wasn't until World War II that penicillin became a publicly available treatment. But in the 70 years of using it, more and more infections are becoming immune to antibiotics. This is because no antibiotic is 100% effective. There will always be some bacteria that survive. When those bacteria reproduce, a new antibiotic formula has to be created. So each new bacteria generation is protected from a growing list of antibiotics, meaning that there are superbugs hiding in dark corners. It won't be nuclear war that ends humanity. It'll be a really old yogurt. Number 3. Elephants Losing Tusks Another example of evolution on a short time scale compared to the millions of years it normally takes is with the elephant. That old phrase, survival of the fittest, doesn't mean the biggest and the strongest. It means that those best suited to their environment are most likely to survive. And right now, the biggest threat to elephants are poachers hunting for ivory. Almost 150,000 elephants were killed between 2007 and 2014. And now, there are whole areas where 98% of the females don't have tusks. Humans are just the worst sometimes. Number 2. Embryos one of the most visual clues that all animals came from the same origin is the embryo. When you line up pictures of early stage embryos, you'll see how similar we all look. Human, bird, fish, we all look pretty similar to start with. And in the case of Steve Buscemi, that similarity never went away. And if the embryos are from the same class, such as mammal, then they stay looking the same for even longer. Number 1. Computer Modeling With the rise of the computer, we began experimenting with artificial life and models of evolution to see if we could replicate what had happened in the real world somehow. Some of these, such as Tierra, created in the early 90s by Thomas S. Ray, were simply life and death models. But in 2010, researchers at Michigan State University announced that a species they called avidians had evolved intelligence naturally after starting out as cells in a simulation. They were put in an environment with food and soon evolved to move towards it and even have a basic memory of where food was. That's basically all most humans need anyway. Thanks for watching another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. And remember, it's our duty to entertain and yours to subscribe. Uh, yeah, subscribe. Press the button down below and just subscribe.
Uh, I don't fucking know. My job sucks. There's a button down below. Click it and just subscribe. Oh, and here's my Mexican hat. I seem funny. Entertainment, yeah. Uh, basically, that's it. Just subscribe. Go to the top 10. Fuck, this is so boring. I give up. I just quit. Fuck it.